This is Piero Bonamico, Creative Director of the Choral Excellence Series. We have been producing and distributing books and videos that entertain, educate, and inspire since the spring of 1999, and we are very excited about our new podcast series and other online offerings. For more information about our videos, or to subscribe to the podcast, please visit us at choralexcellence.com. Individual Section Characteristics Section 1. Sopranos A frosting on a rich cake of altos, tenors, and basses. Rules for singing above the staff and dealing with vibrato problems. Section 2. Altos Addressing the break in the female voice. An exercise for bringing the top voice down and additional alto concepts. Section three, tenors. The most fragile musical instrument. Developing head tone from falsetto. Section four, basses. Encouraging a lyrical bass sound. five or six things we need to think about concerning sopranos. The first thing, the basic concept is to sing lyrically and possess a somewhat youthful freshness with great clarity, flexibility, and warmth, and let's stop right there. What does that mean? I told you this was Roger Wagner's sound. Robert Shaw's sound was this thing. The reason they both start out like this is because like trumpets in a band, that's all you'll hear if they play as loudly as everybody else is playing. So you have to be careful. They're heard, they're high, so the sopranos have to walk easy. They are the frosting on a rich cake of uniform alto tenor and bass. So we want them to sing lyrically, like everybody, but it's crucial for them. And it says, possess a somewhat youthful freshness. What is that? That doesn't mean I want them to sound like kids or immature but a youthful freshness, like I'm speaking right now, like that 65-year-old gal whose nickname was Happy that I told you about. I want them to sing like that, with substance to their tone and depth to their tone. I will frequently say, soprano, sing that again like a woman. <laughs> not like a little girl, not a little girl. No, no, I didn't say an old woman or older woman, just like a woman. And now, oh, okay. But a youthful, for example, if, the, uh, if I'm doing an all state and the sopranos are forcing and singing too, they're trying to sound like women they've heard, and they're singing too loudly, which is usually the case, I'll say, would all you, and they're usually 11th and 12th graders, and they're good, would you now do, sing that phrase and do an impression of the finest ninth grade soprano in America, and I'll say, who, by the way, would be better than any of you? So you better sing well but sound like that great ninth grader. And boy, they sound gorgeous that time. Nobody's trying to manufacture some kind of an unnatural older sound anymore. And if I'm working with a thousand Presbyterians at Montreat or something, and the women are in their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and there's too much of a labored soprano sound, I'll say, would all you women sing that again and sound like the best 19-year-old, best 18-year-old soprano in America? And all of a sudden, they sound great for them with a youthful freshness, not an immaturity, just a youthful freshness.
We hope that you've enjoyed this sample from our library. For more information or to order the complete video, please visit us at www.coralexcellence.com. Thanks for watching.